Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines. Now today we're going to have a look at Tampo and you. So is it a good match? So this will be for anyone that's uh, considering dating a Filipina or may have just recently started dating a Filipina and found out about Tampo and thinking, well, how do I handle this? And is it actually for me to be dealing with this? Is this part of the deal in that relationship? Or maybe you're not even sure what Tampo is. So stay tuned to find out. So firstly, those of you that are not familiar with the term Tampo and how the Filipinas might perform Tampo is that basically if a Filipina feels that she's been hard done by in some way, uh, maybe you've given someone attention that you, she thinks you shouldn't have, you might have said hello to somebody, um, or you might have been a bit insensitive to her, maybe she's even just misunderstood what you were saying and she's been offended by it. What your Filipina may do in performing tempo is that she will basically go very quiet. Uh, she may retreat to her room and she will basically give you a cold shoulder. Now, to your Filipina, this is a natural behavior. This is something she's learned in the Philippines. It's whether you call it cultural or a learnt behavior. It's something that a Filipina and a Filipino relationship would find acceptable. And this is how they deal with their issues. You've got to remember, Filipinas as such and as Filipino people are not all that confrontational a lot of the time. They don't want confrontation when it comes to problems in their relationship. So they will sometimes do this as a way of getting attention from you so you can apologize for your apparent mistake. Now, to a Western man, he will see this totally differently. He, he may see this as a very controlling or childish behavior um, instead of talking about the problem uh, she's just going away and sulking in her room now this tempo as we say it can vary in severity let's call it so if, if, if she wants to go and have a sulk for an hour or two I, I don't see a problem with that that's her just resetting herself and getting herself going as long as she can come out and you can have a good conversation about what the problem was so it can be resolved and it doesn't repeat itself again in the future because if you don't have that conversation the same problem is bound to come up over and over again so it really needs to be addressed now some cases with filipinas the tempo can go on for many hours maybe even days in some cases now that can become very difficult to deal with. You imagine you're living in the same house and you, your wife or your girlfriend is giving you the cold shoulder and maybe in some cases her frustration gets beyond her control and she starts to throw things, slam doors, or it maybe even come up and uh, give you a punch in the, in the arm or whatever. Uh, and you're thinking to yourself, what the hell is going on? Well, the thing is, are you able to handle tampo and how much tampo can you handle and really this is something you want to be thinking about before you even start dating a filipina or if you've already started dating a filipina and you're finding out about tampo then you really want to have a good look at how much you can handle and whether even dating a filipina or being in a relationship with a filipina is the right thing for you because for some western men it can be a big deal breaker it can be very hard for them to handle uh i hear some guys you know they handle it easy they say well it gives me time just to go and do what i want to do while she gets over it and you know if that's you that's fine but for many western men it is seen as i say as a controlling or even a rude behavior um it, it's manipulative designed to try and get you to do what they want instead of just simply talking about the problems which most western men would be used to doing you have a problem the your, your partner would sit down and you would talk about it and you would work out what the problem is and what the fix is to it so it doesn't happen again and you move on the relationship then becomes much stronger through that but when you've got tampo 
uh, to a lot of Western men, it will actually be very, very damaging to the relationship to the point where a lot of Western men will say, no, I just can't handle this anymore and I'm out of here. So that's Tampo in a nutshell, guys, for all you newbies to the Philippines or dating a Filipina. Uh, and the question is, you've got to think about, as I say, said at the start, is Tampo for you? So is that a good match, you dating a Filipina who might do Tampo? And really think about how you're going to handle Tampo. So if you're in a relationship and the first time this happens, what are you going to do? Be prepared. To sit down and have that conversation with her and let her know in no uncertain terms that this relationship is a western filipina relationship not a filipino filipina relationship therefore uh, it's something that's not really part of this relationship package let's say so she once she understands that it's damaging the relationship she has a choice to change her behaviors or not so or are you the type of guy that's just going to say, well, you know, I'm crazy, I'll just go with it. She can do what she likes. And the danger with that is that it will probably get worse and worse and worse, this behavior, especially if you're not giving her what she wants, which is coming up to her and saying sorry and kissing and cuddling and whatever else, even when you don't know what you're apologizing for. So that's the things to think about from this video, guys. So I hope you've uh, learned something from it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to put the thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video around with all your networks and anyone who might be dating a Filipina or thinking of dating a Filipina. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. Take care. And bye for now.